Hello welcome to Objective Question Answer MCQ's YouTube channel. With a positive vibes let's start this video. Question number 1. Organisms which prepare food for themselves using simple naturally available raw materials are referred to as Option A heterotrophs Option B autotrophs Option C saprophytes Option D parasites The right answer is option B Autotrophs Organisms which prepare food for themselves using simple naturally available raw materials are referred to as autotrophs Auto equal self and trophos equal nourishment. Question number two. In the absence of which of the following will photosynthesis not occur in leaves? Option A guard cells. Option B vacuole. Option C chlorophyll. Option D space between cells. The right answer is option C. Chlorophyll. The leaves have a green pigment called chlorophyll. It helps leaves to capture the energy of the sunlight. This energy is used to synthesize, prepare, food from carbon dioxide and water. Question number three. Which of the following statements is slash are correct? 1. All green plants can prepare their own food. 2. Most animals are autotrophs. 3. Carbon dioxide is not required for photosynthesis. 4. Oxygen is liberated during photosynthesis. Choose the correct answer from the options below. Option A1, and 4. Option B2 only. Option C2, and 3. Option D1, and 2. The right answer is option A. One, and four. All green plants, containing chlorophyll, prepare their own food by the process of photosynthesis using carbon dioxide, water and sunlight and releases oxygen as a byproduct. All animals depend on plants for the availability of food. Question number 4. Pitcher plant traps insects because it Option A has a digestive system like human beings. Option B grows in soils which lack in nitrogen. Option C does not have chlorophyll. Option D is a heterotroph. The right answer is option B. Grows in soils which lack in nitrogen. Pitcher plant traps insects to obtain the vital nitrogen, lacking in the soil, that is necessary for proper growth. Question number 5. The term that is used for the mode of nutrition in yeast, mushroom and bread mold is. Option A. Autotrophic. Option B insectivorous. Option C saprophytic. Option D parasitic. The right answer is option C. Saprophytic. 
fungi secrete digestive juices on dead and decaying materials and convert them into a solution from which they absorb the nutrients. This mode of nutrition is known as saprophytic nutrition. Question number 6. When we observe the lower surface of a leaf through a magnifying lens we see numerous small openings. Which of the following is the term given to such openings? Option A stomata. Option B lamina. Option C midrib. Option D veins. The right answer is option A. Stomata. Carbon dioxide from air is taken in through the tiny pores present on the lower surface of the leaves. These pores are surrounded by guard cells. Such pores are called stomata. Question number 7. Two organisms are good friends and live together. One provides shelter, water, and nutrients while the other prepares and provides food. Such an association of organisms is termed as Option A saprophyte Option B parasite Option C autotroph Option D symbiosis The right answer is option D Symbiosis. Some organisms live together and share shelter and nutrients. This is called symbiotic relationship or symbiosis. For e.g., in organisms called lichens, a chlorophyll containing partner, which is an alga, and a fungus live together. The fungus provides shelter water and minerals to the alga and, in return, the alga provides food which it prepares by photosynthesis. Question number 8. Which of the following raw material is available in the air for photosynthesis? Option A. Oxygen. Option B carbon dioxide. Option C nitrogen. Option D hydrogen. The right answer is option B. Carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide present in air is required for photosynthesis. Thank you so much for watching our videos. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel Objective Question Answer MCQs. And always remember, never stops learning, because life never stops teaching.